What is stolen in darkness will always burn in the light. You've felt it, haven't you? That heavy sense that people were feasting on your energy, draining you, and leaving you empty. You gave your love, your strength, your trust. And they took it all without a thought for the toll it was taking on you. They thought they were clever, hiding their selfishness behind smiles and empty words, believing you'd never notice. But God saw it all. Every stolen moment, every ounce of your energy taken, every tear you cried. He watched, and now he's moving. They thought they could build their lives on what they took from you. Your kindness, your compassion, your unwavering support. They leaned on it like a crutch, pretending it was their strength all along. But here's what they didn't understand. Stolen blessings cannot sustain anyone. God's justice is never late. And now he's stepping in not just to tear down what they built, but to restore what is rightfully yours. They didn't just take your energy. They tried to dim the light of the Holy Spirit within you. They drained you, hoping to weaken the fire that God placed in your soul. But they couldn't extinguish it. That fire was never theirs to control. The strength you carried was divine, a gift from the Creator Himself, and now He is reclaiming it. Their empty victories, their false achievements, all those things they paraded as their own. God is stripping it all away. The Holy Spirit is moving in ways they can't comprehend. The very energy they stole from you is returning, but not as it was before. It's coming back purified, stronger, untouched by their hands. God is restoring you, not just to where you were, but to something greater. He's elevating you while pulling down their house of cards. Every time they drained you, every time they manipulated or lied, they sowed the seeds of their own downfall. The Lord says, what you reap, you will sow. And now they are reaping the harvest of their choices. What they thought was strength was only borrowed from you, and without you, they have nothing. God is exposing their weaknesses, their lies, their shallow hearts. He is showing the world that their so-called power was nothing but an illusion, propped up by what they stole from His Chosen One. When they stole your energy, they didn't just harm you. They disrespected God's creation. The light they drained wasn't just yours, it was His gift. They gambled with sacred energy, thinking there would be no consequences. But the Lord does not let His chosen ones suffer without reason, nor does He let evil prosper forever. He allowed it for a time, yes, because even in your pain, He was strengthening you refining you, preparing you for this moment. But now he has declared enough. What they built is falling apart, not because of bad luck or coincidence, but because God's hand is sweeping across their lives. He is removing the false crowns they placed on their own heads, tearing down the empires they built on lies. Their downfall is not random. It is his judgment and His judgment is always righteous. You may have felt small, powerless, even invisible as they took and took from you. But God says, you are the head and not the tail. They needed you, but you didn't need them. Without you, they are exposed for what they truly are, empty vessels void of the Spirit, incapable of standing on their own. Their masks are falling and the world is seeing them for what they truly are. And now, God is restoring what was stolen. Not just your energy, but your joy, your peace, your identity. He is rebuilding you from the inside out. The Holy Spirit is filling the spaces they tried to empty. And what they used against you is being turned back on them. God does not just destroy. 
He rebuilds, he restores, and he elevates his chosen ones to places no enemy can reach. They thought they could take your light and walk away untouched. But what they didn't understand is that the light in you isn't ordinary. It's holy. It's God-given. And now that light is shining brighter than ever, exposing their darkness and lifting you higher. God is showing them, and you, that no one can steal from his chosen and prosper. Their power was never real. It was borrowed from the blessings God gave you, and now those blessings are being returned. As they crumble, you will rise not by your own strength, but by the strength of the Almighty. God's justice is perfect. His timing is divine. What they thought they got away with was always seen, and now it is being dealt with. This is not revenge. It is restoration. God is showing you who you are in Him, a vessel of His light, His power, His glory. And He is showing them that without Him they are nothing. Let them watch as you step into the fullness of His plan for you, as every piece of stolen energy comes back to you, untouched and overflowing with His grace. They are left in the dark, not because of your vengeance, but because God has declared it so. What was stolen in darkness will always burn in His light. They believed their rise was eternal. They thought their control over you was unshakable, their illusions untouchable. But God doesn't allow falsehoods to endure. The time of reckoning has arrived, and their fall will not be quiet. It will echo across every corner where their lies once stood tall. This is not about humiliation. It's about truth being revealed. God's justice does not whisper. It thunders. The masks they wore so proudly are being ripped away. Their empire, built on deceit and manipulation, is crumbling before everyone's eyes. Those who once admired them, who sang their praises, are stepping back in disbelief. Their supporters, now recognizing the facade, are retreating, realizing they were part of a false narrative. Their reputation, their so-called legacy, is being stripped bare, exposing nothing but emptiness underneath. This isn't vengeance, it's revelation. It's God's way of showing the world what happens when you build on lies, when you steal what was sacred and call it your own. The fall of their empire isn't just poetic justice. It's a lesson. It's a stark reminder that truth, no matter how deeply buried, always rises. And when it does, it burns brighter than any illusion could ever hope to shine. They didn't just take from you. They rejected the gift God had placed before them. Your energy wasn't ordinary. It was transformative. It had the power to uplift, to heal, and to guide them toward redemption. If only they had chosen to honor it, to walk in partnership with grace instead of trying to dominate it, they might have unlocked doors they didn't even know existed. But greed blinded them. Arrogance consumed them. They saw the light of God in you, and instead of respecting it, they tried to claim it for themselves. They didn't realize that what they were taking wasn't just energy. It was sacred. It was divine. It was the key to their own growth. By exploiting it, they rejected the very path that could have elevated them. Now they remain trapped in a cycle of their own making, stagnant and unable to rise. Their choices were their downfall. Every manipulation, every shortcut, Every lie deepened the divide between where they are and where they could have been. They missed their chance to ascend because they were too focused on control, too consumed by their illusions of power. What they didn't realize is that the energy they stole wasn't just leaving. It was being refined. It was passing through the fire, becoming stronger, 
more potent, and now it's returning to you. What they mistook for permanent victories were nothing more than fleeting moments built on borrowed time. They celebrated achievements that weren't theirs, flaunted successes that came from what they stole. But energy stolen from God's chosen ones is never theirs to keep. It carries a timer, and when that timer runs out, everything they built collapses. Now the clock has struck zero. The power they claimed is slipping through their fingers. The empire they constructed is falling apart. Their so-called victories are fading echoes, reminders of what was never truly theirs. What they didn't understand is that God allows time for repentance. But when His hand moves, it moves decisively. Everything they thought they could keep is being stripped away and they are left with nothing but the consequences of their actions. God's plan was never to destroy without purpose. What is unfolding now is not chaos, but divine order. He is dismantling the false foundations they relied on, exposing the hollowness they tried to hide. And you are not just witnessing this, you were meant to see it. Not for vengeance, but for confirmation. Confirmation that the path you walked, though difficult, was the right one. Confirmation that His justice is perfect, His timing impeccable. Affirm in the comments. What was stolen in darkness is being restored to me by God's light. I am rising stronger than ever through God's justice and grace. My energy, my light, and my power are divinely protected and unstoppable. We're never meant to retaliate, to fight fire with fire. God didn't call you to battle them. He called you to rise above them. And now, as their world falls apart, you see the full picture. Their downfall is a testament to the power of truth. It's a reminder that God's laws cannot be broken without consequence. The energy they drain from you is returning. But it's not the same. It has been transformed, it's stronger, purer, and ready to propel you to heights they could never reach. What they stole was refined by fire, shaped by struggle, and now it is yours once again. Where they thought they had weakened you, they have made you unstoppable. You're not just recovering, you're rising. And as you rise, they fall. The very energy they thought they could manipulate is now the force behind your ascension. It's lifting you to a place they can't even imagine, a place they will never touch. Their manipulation, their lies, their theft, it all served one purpose, to prepare you for this moment. They were never builders, they were thieves. They didn't create. They stole. They didn't rise. They stood on what they took from you. But now, God is restoring what is yours, and their false empire is crumbling. This is not punishment for punishment's sake. It is revelation. It is God showing the world that nothing built on lies can stand. As their world unravels, yours is being rebuilt stronger, higher, rooted in truth. This isn't the end for you, it's a new beginning, and for them, it's the undeniable reality that they were never what they claimed to be. God's justice is relentless, His restoration is perfect, and His chosen ones will always rise.